Hi guys and welcome back with Ra Randomness with Rachel and I got some new products and I want to share them with you. So of course right now I am just starting out with my primer um, and of course you should probably know right now this is my go-to which is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So that is what we are doing right now is applying this. And then we're going to do a little throwback as to what I'm used to after uh, after this, just a second. Okay, so I am primed and I have concealed my nose because we know that we do not put the primer onto the nose if you have enlarged pores because that does seep through and will show up um, if your makeup decides to wear off. So, now that I have that done, um, most of you may know that I said right now I am using my NYX Full Coverage 24-Hour Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, foundation. Now, I am going to go back to my what I used before the NYX, which is the IT um, Cosmetics, and I really love IT, but the only thing is, there's my daughter, um, the only thing with the it is in this product um it's not a matte so i get um some oil going on through the day but i figured hey we're gonna try this um and see if i use the melf the melf Ooh. if i use the elf uh, matte putty primer and i'm using a matte finishing spray maybe this won't end up being so oily I'm at the end of the day. So we're going to try this out. We're going to apply it um, to the face and I will be right back. So this is again, It Cosmetics um, anti-aging, which I need, and it's in the color medium. So I'm not sure if this is a little dark for me, but we're going to find that out as well. Okay. Like, whoa. Hmm. So there is a reason why I like the it because <laughs> it is a full coverage now this is a lot darker than what um i shade i currently am but when they say full coverage they are not playing and i actually put too much on my hand um yeah so it i'm loving i'm loving it um so yeah I may have to go get some of this in the lighter shade, uh, but that's okay. So the other thing I'm really excited about is because yesterday, Juvia Place, which I've been wanting to try forever, um, and you can comment below if you've tried it or not. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews. They're good reviews, so I'm like, I want to try it. Well, I joined their like little like page or whatever, and they had 60% off yesterday. So understand that I got some Juvia Place. And I am so excited. So as soon as I receive that, which they said it will be like next week, but oh my gosh, like I ordered it yesterday and like a couple of hours later, it says my item was shipped. So, so far Juvia Place is killing it on making sure you receive your product in a timely fashion, which is huge because I'd rather just go to Ulta and buy it right then and there you know, and have it that day. But who can miss a 60% off sale when it comes to Juvia Place? Sign up if you haven't already, because that is a great deal. So I'll be doing a review on Juvia Place next week. But for the time being, we are working with it um, and a lot of other products too, because I love trying this out. So my next thing that I'm going to do is actually I was in Kohl's um, the other day and of course, I want to try out new makeup. So I'm trying out Butter London. And this is actually, it's a blurring finishing setting powder. So I feel like this would be perfect for today because it's a little bit darker um, than what I want to do. So I hear a lot of people talk about baking their face. And so I've never personally done it, um, but we're going to try it today. Yes, we are. So I want to bake my base. And I love this because it has like this little circular thing inside. 
and um, it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was like twenty or something. I don't know. I don't buy things unless I have Kohl's cash or it's on sale or whatever. But so we're gonna set this under my eyes because, according to Nikki Tutorials, who I love, she says to put this on right after foundation so you don't get lines. Now I have not used my concealer, which I probably should have now thinking about it. So let me um, go off here real quick before I do any more, before I jack my face up um, and apply some concealer real quick, like under my eyes, my nose here. Let's just do it right now because I am on here and this is a lot lighter than what I am. So that's all right, we'll make it work, right? If I look crazy, you will be the first to see it. So, yeah. So, what did I want to do here? Here. Because, you know, we got to go with the Indian look. Here and here. So, this is where we want to use our concealer. And, of course, under my eyes, we want to brighten up here. We ain't trying to have no dark circles. We're trying to highlight, right? Okay. Yeah, I look wonderful. So I'm going to not bore you and go off here and blend this in because it is fantastic. And I will be right back. Okay. Whew. We got that done. So now we're going to go in with my sponge that, first of all, I got at um, Ulta last night. And I don't know. I wasn't sure how it would work because they have this little um thing going on where it's like five items for ten dollars and of course the sponges were in there at Ulta so I'm like oh yeah we're gonna do that so that is where I got this sponge from and it's actually not bad I mean I guess I haven't used any of the like super brand is that a word I mean, is that a thing? I don't know, but either way. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's um, Sweet and Shimmer Cosmetic Sponge. So, I mean, I kind of feel like it does the same as the others. I mean, maybe the texture is a little bit different, but it still does the job, right? That's what we need. So you can pick five up for $10, but I didn't because um, stocking stuffers. And I love it because my kids um, are <laughs> into makeup. They're not very old. Um, so they are 11 and 9. And, of course, when they see me do my makeup and they see me watching Nikki tutorials and uh, tutorials and James Charles, they're like, oh, I want to do this too. So, anyways, so it's fun. So they get to join this adventure with me as well. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go in and contour my face and I showed this is one of my newer contours that I got and I absolutely have loved it the past couple of days it's the elf um, contouring palette and it's seriously like six bucks or something like that um, I did get this at Kohl's but I know you can get it at Walmart you can get it at Ulta you can get it wherever has your elf products so um, I just really like it because there's so many different shades um, that I can use so if I put one on and it's darker then I'm going to just go in and make it undark you know that works so the other tip I did learn um, quickly is that when I contour because I have more of like a round face and a like chubby cheeks I'm going to contour and I've been doing because I thought that's what they said to go in this crease here um, and you know and not do that to go above that line and so i was watching a few videos yesterday and they said no if you're doing a cream contour put it up above this right here put it above that because you'll be blending it down into this line now you don't want to bring it all the way around because then that's going to look really yeah. um so we're just going to start at the tip of the ear and come down this line and contour I'll be right back okay so I finished where I want to contour and you can kind of see like I still have this because I, I have two cheeks like 
want to smile like it's just there right so there's nothing you can do about it um, just love it and embrace it so I'm going to go in today next with the highlighter they say to highlight before you add blush so that's what I'm going to do again I'm going in with the Juvia Place highlighter and I really want to know the name of this but it just says L2331 mm, not sure what that means but anyways it's the oh the tribe highlighter volume three so this is what i'm going to go in and highlight with because at first you know like i didn't really like it because it didn't show up but look it does now so i'm just going to go in and circular motions like right here where i want to highlight because i just want this to be like oh can you see that that is fantastic so i've liked the juvia place that i've purchase so far so I'm so excited to receive what I ordered in the mail and to share it with you once it gets here so anyways and I sing through everything like my son laughs at me because everything I say he's like it has like a tune to it like I'm singing about it and his dad does too they just get up both of them give me crap um I don't know why I do that. I love to sing. Not doing that today. I'll see. There it goes. Um, anyways, so maybe one day I'll sing for you, but not today. So I'm going to place that highlighter also on the very tip of my nose um, because that's just what they say to do. And I contoured my nose a little bit so you can see when you want to have a little nose. Don't you know that that can help my case out, but we're trying it. We're going to highlight above the lip and a little bit right here at the chin. Hmm. I look bright and full. So anyway, so that's my highlighter. Liking it. So now what I'm going to do is go in with my blush, um, which I'm not going to bore you with because I don't have anything new to report to you besides I'm getting ready to put my blush on. So, um, let me put my blush on and then I'm going to, um, touch base about some of the new brushes I got. I'm so excited. I'll be right back. Okay. So before I go, um, and do my eyes, I want to show you something and I want to show it to you now. So that way by the end of this video, you can kind of see there's a difference so you see my lips now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some color and I'm so sad because I told you earlier like that my mom or in my other videos that my mom sells Mary Kay well which is the lip color I'm using today by the way in the shade spice ginger so she's decided to get out of the business kind of um you know, COVID has slowed a lot of stuff down uh, for small businesses, which is really crappy. Um, so now I'm going to be on the search for new makeup. And that's kind of why I've been doing a lot of, um, I, I think I overuse this. Um, that's why I've been on a search for new um, makeup because I know she's getting out of it. And so, um, it's time to move on, time to explore either way. Um, so I put the lipstick on and I have been looking for a lip plumper. If you have an idea of what is your favorite, not an idea, but if you have a favorite, please share it with me because I love lip plumpers and I am not about to go get Botox or anything like that up in my lips. Um, so I went to Ulta, of course, and I found this, it's called Tarte Man Eater. And <laughs> I'm excited. So it's supposed to be plump and prow lip plumper. So I want to see if it plumps my lips. And remember these lips. Okay. And we're going, I just put color on. Maybe it would enhance it. And, um, yeah. So lip plumper, here we go. Again, by Tarte, and I'm putting extra on, uh, thinking that 
maybe it'll plump them more if I put more on. So I wanted to put this on now. So by the end of it, we'll... Mm. Okay, so that has a little bit, just a little bit of a tingly, not really burning, but... Uh, hmm. Hopefully it's in the process of plumping. Okay, I'm gonna go do my eyes and I'm gonna be right back on here. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna be right back on here. I told you I'm random. It is what it is, you can't fix it. Okay, so when I was in Ulta last night, you know I love a sale and I am loving Morphe. Um, haven't used their products at all, actually. Just getting into it. So, but these, it's a four piece eye brush collection and it says I got this hmm, yes I do I'm gonna get this um so anyways this was on sale for for seven dollars yeah they were running a sale so go to your Ulta if you don't have one find one um and so we're gonna do my eyes with these Morphe brushes today that I'm so excited about okay now I'm going to um get off here do my eyes and I'll be right back to kind of share with you some more new items that I have. Okay, so I wanted to share with you what I'm using today on my eyes is again, it's by Juvia Place. It's the Saharan Blush Volume 1. We talked about this earlier. It's not going on my cheeks, it's going on my eyes. So we're going to go back in with one of my new favorites, which is Abby, and I'm going to simply just apply it to the outer edges. Um, yeah, I don't know what brush is what, um, because it doesn't say on here, it just says Morphe, and usually it'll say. But anyways, so what I am trying to accomplish, I'm didn't get enough on my brush um is because I have hooded eyes and I want to be to elongate my eyes so it said to bring it upward like that so that is what I'm gonna do to both eyes is I'm going to apply Abby in an upward motion <laughs> we'll see <laughs> how this blends out yeah not gonna bore you up be right back okay so we have that blended my lighting is so crappy like anybody wants to donate twenty thousand dollars to me so i can build myself you know um a studio with this glam lighting that'd be great but until then small bathroom it is so anyway so i went ahead and took this brush you can kind of see um a little bit kind of how thick it is so I just went in made my shape that I want and just went in and blended it out I did learn that if you hold it by the end and not all the way up here you're gonna get a lot more you'll be lighter on the eye won't be as um prominent unless you want that sometimes I do go back in after the fact that I've done my makeup and I'm like oh I need it darker there um so now what I'm going to do is go in right beside Abby and do my Lala right here, the one with the fingernail mark in it. And we're just going to go in and go right beside her. Cause I'm, and I'll probably go ahead and add this a little bit to my crease as well. So let me do this look. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. So off camera, you cannot see this. I'm sorry. I, I um, should have did that, but I took in my elf. It's, 203 it's a precision and it has like this little eyebrow thing on the end of it um but anyways i just took my um concealer and i just did a faint line under here and also put some in through here to kind of lighten it um so yeah that's kind of what i did i haven't done my brows obviously yet um Anyways, so now I'm just going to go in with my next brush, which is another Morphe brush, and it's a little bit thicker. So also what I did was I took my concealer and I put it kind of like right here, right beside um, Leah, 
Laya, Leela, and my palette. Um, and so right in beside here. So I use this on the outer, this beside Abby, and then I'm going to go over here um, to Zara. So sorry, I'm pronouncing these wrong. So I'm going to go into Zara um, and put it over top of that concealer um, because I really want it to shine. It has a shimmer. It has like a coppery tone. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'm just going to just lightly um, blend all of it together just so there's not a whole lot of choppiness. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Let me go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and do my wings. And I bought this new eyeliner. It's by Lor Lorac, I think is how you say it. I don't know. Um, got it from Kohl's again. And what I like about this, and I'm hoping it works out, is that the tip is so fine. Um, because I had a wider tip um, eyeliner from Mary Kay. And... It just gave me a really thick line and I wasn't really feeling it. Um, so let me go ahead and do my eyeliner. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not impressed. This Lorac was like $19 thinking that, oh, well, that's kind of a lot of money for some eyeliner. This is going to be great. <sighs> nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Didn't like it. Um, it, I had to keep putting it on. It's like a gray or something. It's not black because if it was black, it would have showed up. Um, but it says charcoal. It's there, but it's not my favorite. I'll just tell you that. Um, so lastly, I went and got, um, of course, well, not lastly, I, I lied. Um, a mascara because of course my mom's Mary Kay is going away. Well, not going away. Mary Kay's not going away. My mom's not selling it. Um, so I went and got Tarte. Um, now this is just the travel size um, because I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to buy a big one um, until I knew that it worked, but it says maximum um, compliments. Mm -hmm. It says voluptuous mascara. Flexi brush with her 500 bristles, no lash left behind. Volumizing lift and hold. Um, so fluttery finish. So yeah, let's do this. Let's see what Tarte has to offer me. Ooh, well that's a, look, you open it. Look how beefy that is. <laughs> that's very beefy, I, I kinda like it. So I gotta use my hand dandy mirror. So I gotta put my lashes on after this because I bought new lashes. Yes, I did. I said I, I didn't say I wasn't gonna go big, but I figured, you know, like I'm not at work today. And so I am gonna dry these out. So that way if they look absolutely ridiculous, I'm at home, it's whatever. Because I really do not have good lashes. They're not long. You can barely see them. And yeah. So we'll see how tart, voluptuous lashes look. And I mean, you can see kind of. Maybe not because my lighting, but you can see kind of like the shadow. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're there. I'm kind of liking it. They're not full like I like them, but. You know, again, hmm. but they're there. They're cute. I kind of like it. So first impression on Tarte, um, again, man eater, just like my lips and my lips look more mm, voluptuous. Don't know. So get this. This is like 12 bucks, I think. Um, and I love, I'm obsessed with leopard and pink and black. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to go off here because I am not putting these on in camera. But either way, they are our Ardell Professional Magnetic Liner and Lash. And again, Ulta had these on sale yesterday for $3. $3. Oh my gosh, that's a good deal. Okay, so I'm going to go put this on. And I got wispy lashes. So they're going to be longer. Look. 
they're gonna be longer. I am so excited. Let me go try them on. Okay, so first impression, this uh, magnetic gel liner looks like this. It came in the case. There it goes. So, and it's, I had to press, it came with a little applicator as well. But I do like the gel so far over top of the liquid magnetic liner. I'm not sure if that matters to you, but to me it goes on a lot smoother because they give you this cute little applicator that you can just really get a mirror and look in and put it along your already on eyeliner. I just use my regular liner as a kind of a base, um, whatever to go off of. Okay, so now we're gonna apply these lashes. So I think, I don't know, I should have read. Do you have to let this dry? I'm not sure. But we are going to find out. So again, there's there's my daughter. She wanted to try the, um, yeah, the Lip Plumper by Tarte. So we'll see how this does. Um, okay, so <laughs> we're gonna put this on and see. Okay, so it definitely like automatically sticks to the uh, gel. So that's cool. These are definitely whoa bigger than what I am used to. That's all right. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, those are beautiful. You can tell like the difference. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I really like the bigness of the lashes. I really didn't think that I was going to like this. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Oh, if you were in person, you would just freak out because, oh, that's so nice. Okay, guys, so I'm going to slap the other one on here, um, <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. Okay, guys, I'm just saying, I got the other one on, and look. Ooh, I <laughs> love it. Oh, my gosh, I am so in love right now. Like, I did not think that I would like these big freaking lashes because sometimes, you know, I'm thinking, like, it's going to weigh my eyeballs down, and it's not... Oh my gosh, they don't move. This liner is like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyways, not going to bore you anymore. I'm going to finish with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, guys, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. My lips look plumper. Mm -hmm. My eyes look plumper. Oh, my hair needs help, but it don't matter because this face is looking contoured. My nose is looking contoured, highlighted. My eyelashes are just, I am in love. Um, and so I'm going to have to see how big I can get without looking ridiculous. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. I know I learned a lot. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon with my new Juvia Place makeup. Have a great day, a great weekend, and I will see you soon.